Tartar steel. There's a lot of controversy about that at the moment. In fact, there's a court case gone as well regarding the layoffs of almost 3,000 odd people. Well, it's a Port Talbot. But you see, the thing is, it is progression and it is, sorry to say, in my mind, it is going in the right direction because the current method of smelting this steel or the iron ore uh, is hugely um, dependent on fossil fuel energy to get those temperatures high enough. Now, to be fair, the method they want to use, which is the arc furnaces, using electricity, electric arc furnaces, they're no good for smelting iron ore. They can only really be used for um, smelting, for recycled steel, might have you. Steel that's already been smelted once. Which is, you know, still very good. But it does mean that some products that are made in the UK, we still have to import the steel from abroad. If, you know, not if, but when they stop smelting iron ore in the UK. So it might have a catch-22 situation. We might be saving all this energy and obviously CO2 gases and what have you, but then we're importing it. So effectively all we've done is offshored those, uh, you know, that, that, uh, that CO2 somewhere else, basically. Whether it be China or India or something like that, yeah? But you see, the thing is, <clears throat> there's been some developments, quite major developments, in fact, regarding these electric arc furnaces, but also solar furnaces. Now, I know you've probably seen all these videos that are like parabolic mirrors to cook your food and whatever using the sun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Or even burning ants with magnifying glass. But there's been some developments that has, which is very interesting. I think it's very interesting. And basically, solar power generated enough heat to power a steel furnace. Okay, it's sun dependent. But if it was there to back the, um, oh, I've got to say, the uh, uh, electric arc furnaces, well then it could be a bonus. You see, what they're saying here, there's a new proof of concept device trapped solar radiation and used it to heat an object to 1,800 degrees, which could be used for smelting recycled steel. Not iron ore, okay? Uh, raising hopes that steel furnaces could be powered by solar energy. That's a major breakthrough. It's a step in the right direction, isn't it? Uh, you know, I'm, what am I sitting under? I just might see some pairing behind the clouds. That's wasted energy. Okay, I'm trying to harness it myself with my solar panels, as you can see there, all right? All right. <laughs> to some degree. But so much energy is wasted. Whether it be solar, whether it be hydro, whether it be tidal, you know, uh, ground heat, you name it. There's just so much energy just wasted every single day that we should be harnessing. Now, scientists have used solar energy to obviously heat the day at 1,800 degrees. And um, it shows that it can be used to smelt steel. The manufacturing materials, also like glass, cement, ceramics, Raw materials are heated to above 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 1,000 degrees centigrade, uh, currently using solar energy to reach these scorching temperatures is costly. So like, for instance, using solar panels. You need so many of them, because we're talking about massive kilowatt hours you require, you know, um, or even gigawatts to actually power these things. So a huge cost, a huge investment. But... They're talking about harnessing it within, sort of capturing it and holding it. A bit like your thermos, you know, holds heat. So, so using solar energy to reach these scorching temperatures is costly and inefficient. So carbon-based energy like oil or coal is typically used to power these furnaces, yeah, I was talking about earlier, in which these materials are made. Now these industries are responsible for around a quarter, 25% of the global energy consumption. That's huge. That's absolutely massive, isn't it? Now, to tackle the climate change, we need to decarbonise energy in general. Uh, according to Emilino 
Cassati. Uh, a scientist in the Department of Mechanical and Process Engineering in Zurich, uh, and People tend to think, uh, only think about electricity as energy. But in fact, about half of the energy is used in the form of heat. Yes. You think what we do, what do we do with electricity? Boil a kettle, for instance. <laughs> you know, heat our homes, for instance. Put the oven on, for instance. It produces heat. There are other ways of producing heat. I wonder if there's any ways we can incorporate it into the home, harnessing that energy. You know, maybe as as a supplemental form, because obviously when it's dark, I imagine it's not going to be working too well, unless you could store that heat, which is also possible. Quite interesting, really, wouldn't you say? What say you? Please leave it in the comments down below. Do you think we're heading in the right direction? I hope we are, I really do. Otherwise we'd flip above doomed we are. Toodaloo.